I became a priest because I saw other people living and working as priests in their life. And so the example of, of living a priestly life, you know, caught me at a very young age. I, you know, I grew up in a very large family back in Uganda, um, almost, you know, 15 brothers and sisters. And then um, I used to serve in my local parish. So right there, I began to see what a priest does and, and, and the importance of uh, being around a church community because everything back at home is really still gathered around a church community. That's where you play, that's where you, there's a parish school, that's where there are various things, social things that are happening in, in, in your own community. So from there, I began to nurture a small grain of, of what it means to be a priest. And therefore, also growing in my faith, I used to be an altar servant. So I went to Catholic school uh, back and the Catholic schools I went to was mostly run by missionaries. So from there, that's how I, 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 I began to, to grow into, into wanting and desiring to become a priest because I also loved the work of the, the priest used to do. Um, my father too was a great kind of pusher of that because he, he is a man of faith, he was a catechist, he used to work a lot around the church. So again, the power of example, the power of seeing other people do certain things you know, begins to nurture in you the seed of faith and the seed of evocation. Uh, I went to minor seminary back at home, and then I went to major seminary too, theology, and um, sorry about that, I, I, I went to philosophy school, and then after that, I, um, I was sent to go to Rome to study, and uh, I did uh, three years of, of theology. Then I came to this country, um, also began working. I worked in Grafton as a CCD coordinator for the kids. And then I again went back into seminary St. John's and uh, today, uh, today I'm, uh, I've been ordained a priest almost seven years.